We are very welcome back. Man, after that crazy men's singles final, we're back now with the women's doubles and the hottest property in European badminton at the moment in white for the Netherlands. She led it pink with eight in Muskins against the number two Danish pair. Maria Rock and Lina Kruse in black. And a big match this. Pelleton on you, the undoubted top pairing in Europe. But these two batting out for the bragging rights, a second best pair in Europe. And really, what is left to be said about the Dutch pair? Their rise to stardom and up the world rankings has really been meteoric in the last six months. It's hard to believe that they're going for their fifth title in a row. And not just any titles, the one Bitburger, one Dutch Open, but that's Grand Prix and Grand Prix Gold. One in Scotland, Grand Prix, Irish. International challenge. And now going for this win here at the Swedish Masters International Challenge. But up against the competition here for the Danes. Robkin and Kruse really have a lot to prove. The Danes, of course, had a championship-making win, let's call it, in the semi-final of the European Junior Championship, where the story of the sisters did it in two games and beat Bankier and Gilmore in the quarter-final. It took three games to do it, but that was an epic battle. And the Dutch have come easily all the way through, haven't dropped a set. So on paper, Dutch favourites, but it should be a close run thing. And head to head, Dutch have beaten the Danes already back in September at the Belgian International in Lisbon. So a psychological advantage too for the Dutch pair. And it's the Danes who have settled quickest.
Good exchange from both pairs, nice and flat and fast. Takes the Dutch back to within one point. Oh, uh, super from Michigan. So the end of the lead for the games, 11, 9, 3 points in a row. But um, the Dutch will certainly feel they're back in this game. Trailed 7 3 early on, so we'll be quite happy just to be trailing by two at the interval. A lot of uh, a pressure, I think, on the shoulders of Selena Peak this week. Certainly underperformed in our mix. Not quite here mentally, I think, this week. And uh, certainly found it very difficult to lift herself for her women's doubles semi final after losing in the mixed doubles earlier that day. But it's a championship final, and that should be certainly motivation enough. Okay, 
Again, good anticipation from that hip. Anticipating the shot coming back from Marie Ropka. Oh. And that's something that sitting there suffered with yesterday was a appalling lack of good serving. I lost count of the number of poor serves she played in the mixed doubles. Good rally, that's not in the dust. A lot of physio taping on the right shoulder of Afia has spent, I think it was got some 18 months out through injury with a bad shoulder injury. As a result, only plays women's doubles to protect that shoulder as much as possible. Lovely pulled drop shot from Mushkins. She really is a delightful player to watch. And that coupled with almost, if you want to call it, the arrogance of Selena. But it's a delightful arrogance she has. And, uh, Really, a formidable partnership for the Netherlands in women's doubles. And this is a good spell for the Dutch. Four points in a row on the serve of Effie Mushkins. Oh. You know, in very similar ways, it's the Danes with similar characteristics. Marie Wopka certainly has that arrogant swagger about her, but she matches it with world-class badminton also. Quite entitled to do it. Now, and there you see it. Fantastic vision and the interception from Rocco. Oh, shot coming off the frame of the racket. Oh. Indecision when electing to leave it with the right decision in the end for Mushkin. Selena just a little bit wobbly on that serve. Oh, we yeah. have great vision from Peak. Easing yourself into this match. I 
to choose between these four ladies on court. The fourth receiver. The foot moves before the shuttle was played. Call from Selena to Apia to leave it out. Could be a costly error from the Dutch. And a beautiful way to win the first game for Muskins. Good disguise in the soft throw. And uh, it's a touch to take the first game, 21-19. Second game, if you must can serve to Marie Robka, one game to the good, the Dutch. But that blood in the second game to the Danes. Oh, yes, superb from Lena Cruz.
Again, the accuracy of the attack from Selena Peak in the rear court. Just to match the handle to the Danes. Yes, and that world class from Selena. The vision to spot the open court and that pulled cross drop and really catching the Danes flat footed. Superb winner from Peak. <laughs> and then you have the winner from Apia coming off the frame of the racket. Will they all count the same? It's a point on the board. So really good returns of serve from Lena Cruz at this match so far. Oh, misjudgment from Lena. That one was right inside the line. Oh, <laughs> no idea how Selena P got to that shuttle. But somehow, not only managed to get to it, but put it back with interest in a beautiful little net shot. And the Dutch really had no right to win that rally. Coming out with the point, takes them four points ahead, 9-5. Already one set. To the good. Again, the return of serve from the Danes really bearing fruit in this match. Oh, yeah. Oh, unfortunate for Robka. 
beautiful wrist from the tall dame. And that really aggressive flash punch clear from Mushkin setting up the attack. And then Peak throwing it up at the net spin. And it's a five point interval lead for the Dutch. Already one set to the goal. It's Peak and Mushkin's in pole position. And it's Women's Double Final here. It's the 2014 Swedish Masters. A lot of power in that slender frame from Selena Peak. Oh, and this time the aggressive. The aggressive smash from Mushkins clipping the net tape, falling back the wrong side from a D Dutch perspective. Again, good serve. Misjudgment on the baseline. Really, the evidence is there in front of our eyes. It's the Dutch doing the majority of the attacking. The Danes forced to defend. The neut neutralizing the rally. And then, if the Dutch is back on the attack again, Again, some neutralizing clears. Yeah, and the Danes certainly happy to allow the Dutch on the attack. Yeah, and then the arrow from Pitt on the start drop. That type of rally is certainly going to take it out of all these four girls. Clear tactic from the Danes. Put the shovel into the court and force a mistake from the Dutch. Oh, 
hole on the mistake from Lena. Read the shuttle very well, but just failed in the execution of the shot. Selena just looking a little bit shaky on that serve. First, really topping rally we've seen from Robkin Cruiser in the last 10 minutes. Half an hour gone. And again, that's something that really Apian Munchkin excels in. Those flat, fast exchanges, mid rally. No difference in the pink we're seeing today. More focused, more aggressive. Oh, but again, the momentum, the velocity of the shuttle taking across for the winner. 1910, this is looking pretty easy for the Dutch girls. Matt Pound, the Netherlands. In the crowd, start to clap. Crowd turned down a bit since Henry left the arena. Still nine match points for the Dutch. Yeah, and that's it. Win the end and the win for Peak. And this one's two wins out of two over Rapka and Kruva. Worrying times for the Danish duo. But it's Peak and Mushkins who set themselves apart from the rest in Europe once again. Five victories in a row. And there they are, the cross player on the shelter at the moment. Stay tuned for the interview with the winner shortly after, and then the final match of the 2014 Series Masters will be men's doubles. Julian and Vaca against Moen and Scott Slatic.
The final match of the 2014 Swedish Masters Men's Doubles All Polish Final. Top seeds in black with white shorts. Adam Sulin and Premisa Vaka. Six times winner in 2013 against the Patriots and number two seeds. Also, But at the Bulgarian International, at the beginning of the season, seeds 